Hi, today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about SAM. I'm going to be showing you the tons of different windows and options that they have here in uh, the setup part of SAM. So SAM is made up of a bunch of different little squares, windows, is what they normally should call it. Um, and it's an option up here in the header part of SAM. So we windows are basically the statistic relay graphs, uh, fade control, statistics relays, encoders, event log, volume. These are all windows. So normally when you start up SAM for the very first time, this is what you're going to see exactly what's on my screen, except the music and all that's going to be different. But you have these windows, and we have pretty much also desktops. So desktop A is normally used for the streaming part of the uh, SAM. It, it has everything, a little bit of everything, basically. Uh, we have deck A to play the music, deck B to play another set of music, sound effects like applause, boing, boo, or crowd surge. We've got voice effects, which is used for the microphone portion of SAM. We've got the queue to pretty much see what's going to go next, so at 1459. This song is going to play. We were playing right now. We have the playlist where we can check and see how many songs we've added so far, etc. We also have the event log to see what's been playing so far. So these are all windows. So what you can do, for example, let's say you don't want the option for aux one. We can just click on this little red square and it'll remove it. But let's say you decide one day, okay, I kind of do need it and I want it back. We can go to the header portion of Sam and we can click aux one. And it'll automatically re -add it. it added it to that spot because that's where it originally was. But we can go ahead and move it. For example, statistic relays. We just click on it, the name, and drag it. It'll move. And we can align it in different spots. So all of these windows right here are customizable. Let's say, one more time, we want to get rid of Aux 1. And we go to Windows and we'd like to introduce, for example, let's see, Notes. We can bring this down here and automatically add it. We can resize it to what we'd like it to fit to. So I'm going to drag it right here. We just go to the edges and the corners. And we can just see our resizer tool. Uh, we can do it like that. And we added it like that. And it looks like it's always been there, basically. So this we can do this with every single tool, basically, or every single window, I should say. Voice effects, voice tracking. We can just click exit on that one. Windows. Let's go ahead and add the request bar. So we can just add that here. And some you won't be able to resize because of the tools and the way they work. But for the most part, you should be all set to be able to resize them all and make them fit the way you'd like. And then another thing I wanted to talk about was how I said at the beginning, Deck A is normally used for a little bit of everything. Voice effects for the mic, uh, sound effects for when you're doing programs, fade control, and Deck A and Deck B. But what you can also do is, for example, Deck A you can only use for the music. So you would have Q, Playlist, um, Event Log, you know, Events, Deck A and Deck B. But for example, we can also up here, click on Desktop B, and it opens up a whole different side panel of SAM. Deck, desktop B and desktop C. So these are basically extra, I guess, panels or extra pages we have so we don't all get cluttered into one spot. So for example, let's say you wanted deck B to be for the main the scheduling of the programs. So here we see event scheduler, which in the next video I'll be talking a little more, more about. We have PAL scripts. This would be basically like the code part of SAM. So deck A would be all the pretty stuff for the streaming, and then deck B would be what's basically running in the background, making it all work. The FM transmitter, the volume, we've got a clock to see when the programs are going to go live. The event log is a little bigger here, like you see, but um, but yes, yeah, so basically all of this is all customizable. I want to talk a little bit more about the windows. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can also leave them in the comments. But for the most part, anything in Deck A, Deck B, and Deck C, you can remove completely and you can make SAM your own. That, that's one of the great things about this program. It's it's fully customizable. So let's say one more time, you want to get rid of Deck B and Deck A, for example. We just go to Window, and we can open up, and we can replace them for FM Transmitter, which should have opened somewhere around here. But let's try it with another one. We've got Aux 2. So we can just replace Deck A and Deck B for Aux 1 and aux2 which opened up over here and it's right there and we can all resize and all that if you have any questions with sam um feel free to leave them in the comments in the next couple of days i'll be recording a lot more videos in english and spanish if there's any questions or any videos you'd like to see about sam leave them in the comments below and i'm happy to help and, and if i can record a video for you just so you guys can have it for uh for future use i definitely will thank you so much for watching and have a great day okay